So how many of you remember when the rock group Chicago was originally called the Chicago Transit Authority? Way back in the late 1960s and early 70s. Well, I was a huge fan, and I remember this was early 70s. I had a couple of roommates. I was living in San Diego at the time. We were going to college, and whatever the newest Chicago album was at the time, I think this was like 1973, I pretty much wore a hole through the album, and my roommates threatened to kick me out if I played the album one more time. I just, I loved Chicago back then, especially in the early days. So I was really happy when one of my subscribers, the Pineapple Gypsy, left me a comment asking me if I could find Terry Kath's gravesite. Some of you may remember that he died very tragic in a tragic accident when he was just 31 years old, just as they were getting started. He helped form the band back in 1966, and it was originally called The Big Thing. And then years later, they changed the name to the Chicago Transit Authority. They were a huge success, almost from the beginning. And sadly, and just so tragically, he was very young. He was 31 years old. I mean, I guess that's still considered pretty young, especially these days. He was at a party, I guess, celebrating all of their massive success. He was drinking a lot, apparently, and taking drugs. And unfortunately, he was a real gun enthusiast. He always apparently carried a gun with him, had a gun. He was kind of fooling around with it, but everyone could see he was drunk. And, you know, that wasn't uh, what anybody wanted at the party was for, for somebody who was drunk to be brandishing a gun. He was showing off his gun to everyone. And so they tried to get him to put it down. He finally, I guess he took out the clip, removed the ammunition, or at least he thought he did. And to prove it, because he was pretty high, he put the gun to his head and took a shot. And that was it. He didn't realize that it was still loaded. And he accidentally shot and killed himself. He was laid to rest here at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale. It's a semi-private section, and I've never been to the section before. So I just walked around a little bit, and his Find a Great Memorial page did have a GPS, so I just walked around and had a good picture, so I had a, an idea of what to look for, and walked right up to it. It's a little bit faded and tarnished over the years, a little bit difficult to see, and the sun is shining on it in, in a way that makes it a little bit difficult to read, but you can still read it. It reads, Terry Allen Kath, 1946 to 1978, composer, guitarist, singer, the memories of love he left on earth, all the world has shared. Rare and gifted, gentle man, whose riches were a symphony of songs for young and old, because he cared. Our loved one. To find his gravesite, you drive in through the front gate, and then you drive up all the way to the very top of the cemetery, to the Triumphant Faith Terrace section, and his gravesite is located here in the Garden of Remembrance, Garden Number 40. So today's short visit is for all of you Chicago fans and Terry Cat fans, and for the Pineapple Gypsy. So thanks, Pineapple Gypsy, for suggesting this trip, and you sure brought back a lot of good memories for me. I'm guessing for a lot of others as well. This week I'd like to thank my newest Patreon supporter, Barbara Linsing. Thank you, Barbara, for your very kind donation to my channel. It's very appreciated. So until our next trip to the cemetery together, thanks for sharing the memories, everybody.